remaining. Exactly, bro. This, this is literally how I'm feeling right now. Oh, you ain't coming back. Bro. C4 aqui. I have a big problem. My aim is good, but I don't have confidence to make plays. In the... Man, that's actually a great question. Okay, so Pollux, Pollux that's why your name Pollux. He said that when he knows the other team is good, automatically it becomes pressure okay so that's literally and he said okay my aim is good and everything but when i know the other team is good is there's like a pressure on me so way you should put it is like is everything is in your mind you gotta you gotta dominate your mind your thoughts right because it's pretty much like just because you think the players are way better than you or because you respect them because you think they're good you're not making your own place which is dangerous so this is a psychological part of esports and fps in general a crazy psychological thing there comes uh to esports man that 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 actually like you you need to be confident it's really hard to succeed in esports if you're not confident in yourself if you don't believe in yourself if you, and if you don't take, you can be one of the best. Like, literally. Like, you should not give a fuck about anyone's opinion other than yours. One thing that I learned is, like, if someone is giving an opinion for me, uh, saying, hey, no, I think you should change this, or I think you should change that. If if I don't if I don't agree with the person's opinion, or if I don't want to be like that person, if I don't admire that person, one of two things. i either going to take the opinion and fight, filtrate for myself and uh, be like, okay, I can learn because this guy told me this, this, and that. Or I can literally say, okay, I don't want to be like this guy and his opinion doesn't matter to me. So that's why I'm not going to care about it. So there's literally, it's very simple. That's how you should be doing. If you believe in yourself, if you believe you you have what it takes, there's literally no one that can like stop you. Literally no one. It's true, man. I go back to talking this with you guys. My ultimate's not ready. We take off. Super dead. Oh, 
Oh no. <laughs> I try. What the fuck that was in the shit? One enemy remaining. Let's go. Jeez. Jeez, jeez. I feel like this is the thing. What? So let's get so let's get into it. Vando versus Phantom. Uh, let me pause the timer. So I believe both weapons are extremely good, but I'll try to explain in depth. Uh, this is a question that I receive every single day. But the thing about Vando is that in a map that have long distances like this one, for example, where Careful. the engaged uh, distances are very um, long, I should say. Um, normally, you go like this as soon as you get in. There's a guy over there. So this, with the Phantom, you're probably going to do like 123, 145 maximum in the head over here. There's also normally people here, people in this angle, people in this angle here. So the one shot potential, as you guys noticed in my past videos. It's extremely good in the map. It's, this map is specifically on attack. I'm a big Phantom fan. Um, as you guys noticed in all the gameplays that I upload, I'm always playing with the Phantom. But in this map specifically, Ascent, I've been playing a lot with the Vandal because the one shot headshot potential uh the spray pattern is not really hard if you guys see uh it's actually you can actually make a lot of uh long range play like this one like you can actually kill someone doing this little cluster over there so the spray pattern on each gun is not really the problem the thing about it is that phantom in my opinion is extremely extremely good for defense and i'll explain why but let's keep going with the vent. Actually, actually, you know what? Let's let's go to the vent. So you defend in this side over here. The chances is that you have thirty bullets, mag. And normally, when someone doesn't exact, especially if it's a good team, they're gonna flash you. Uh, so if if they're playing arena or breach, probably they're gonna flash you. Uh, they're gonna send uh the the ultimates if they have any ultimate or the stage uh, is low. So there's a lot of things that are gonna go on smokes and etc and if you can spray like people coming in like in the straight line like this and still have like let's say 10 bullets left five bullets left you can still have a chance for a last kill in to the lead your opponents another thing is that even if you get smokes because the phantom has a silencer in a larger mag uh specifically because it has a silencer sorry uh you people won't be able to see the bullet tracers through the smoke so when shooting through smoke, uh, the enemy won't be able to see uh, the pinpoint where you, where you're actually shooting, uh, and he cannot fire back. So this is, is a, a great advantage. So it's pretty much the, the advantages of Phantom are the larger max size accuracy on the spray. Uh, if you're spraying for, I I in my honest opinion, I really do believe the Phantom spray is easier than the Vandal spray. Like the this type of spray over here, for example, if I would do that with a Vandal, I believe it's possible. But let's... Yeah, it's possible to do, but the, the side ones are kind of harder than the Phantom. So that's why I believe the Phantom is more like a defense type of weapon. But it also depends on your playstyle. So if you're an attacker uh, that plays really close angles, for example, I'm opening close angles like this one, this one, like this is a phantom angle over here because you literally can get an insta headshot kill 
but at the same time you have the power of the fire rate so you can put yourself in situations that you can take advantage of phantom okay so the big question is what is the average engage distance across all maps i have no answer for that but in my uh personal opinion when i see fights going on they're like around 40 30 meters and this is a phantom range that's a very easy range to spray down people and uh it's, it's really it's really really easy to spray down someone like from this distance with the phantom is extremely extremely easy to spray down someone like you 100 will get a kill here 100 uh and i believe that's why i believe the phantom is more like a depends on your play style if you like to play more aggressive uh more straightforward if you're an intro killer i believe the phantom is great okay so that's why i use it uh the vando is good for attack and i like the peak potential of the phantom as i as at the vando as i said before um even though the vando has a has less bullets in the mag the big potential of one shot headshots is extremely extremely good and it's very very powerful uh to get in in combats like for example in this distance uh i, I talked about the, the map already uh why, why i think ascent is a map that it's very vandal type of map because if you're a defender you want to surprise the enemy you want to peek anywhere and if you have a phantom you obviously gonna have like super super large angles especially in the middle shorts uh on b not as much but remember there's people that play b way back here just spotting people that coming in like in this off angle over here so this is a one headshot potential as well so there's a lot of things that goes on is again is the play style i see a lot of players using this boat over here and this is a great angle for the phantom pretty much <clears throat> so yeah i guess that's the main um thoughts that i have about the phantom let me know what you guys thoughts let me know what you guys think in this group in the comments below i'll be reading them uh but yeah that's my opinion because enjoy it let's go back to the video think you got it i think you got it yeah. Oh no. My teammates are actually trying to kill me. Oh, you ain't coming back. Bruh. Careful now. Yeah, exactly, bro. This, this literally how I'm feeling right now. I'm not even joking. When the rank comes out, though, I think it's gonna be next week, and I would, I'll be. Come on, man. We got this. We got this. Let's go. GG's. Good game. Let's go, boys. Great, great game.
take it. Is ADS bad in this game? Not really, man. ADS is really good. Uh, but it depends on what you want to do. I personally don't don't use it. Like I almost don't use it. But it's just me. Some people use it. I think it's bad because the fire rate of the weapon goes way, 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 way down. So yeah. Bye.